Namaste and welcome to our exploration of the connection between ancient Hindu cosmology and modern astronomy. In this video, we will delve into the profound wisdom of the Vedic rishis and how it aligns with the discoveries of modern science. Firstly, our Vedic rishis were seer scientists of their times. There were over 400 of them who lived before 3000 BCE. They have questioned and interacted with nature and recorded their observations which have come down to us as the four Vedas, the primary one being the Rig Veda. Thus the science in the Vedas was born from intuition, inquisitiveness, intelligence, and a deep reverence for nature. Cosmic Distances As per NASA Earth's average distance to the Sun is about 93 million miles, 150 million kilometers, from the Sun. This was noted by Tulsi Das much earlier as it is written in the Hanuman Chalisa, Yuk Sahastri Yojan Par Bhanu, Lilio Tahi Madhul Fal Janu. This translates to how Lord Hanuman had travelled a far distance to the sun, thinking it to be a sweet fruit. Now, the terms Yuk, Sahastra, Yojan are the words which determine the distance Hanumanji had travelled. One Yug is equal to 12,000 years. One Sahastra is equal to 1,000. One Yojan is equal to 8 miles. Now, as we can see, this distance is much closer to the calculations of the modern scientists. Multiverse Theory Modern physicists such as Stephen Hawkins and Max Tegmark have supported the multiverse theory that suggests that our universe may not be the only one. Instead, there may be an infinity of universes, all with their own laws of physics, their own collections of stars and galaxies and maybe even their own intelligent civilizations. Within Sanatan Dharma, this multiverse concept has always been an integral part of our Hindu literature, where Mahavishnu creates innumerable universes whilst resting in the celestial ocean and initiates the creation by glancing at his personified material energy, Maya. Time dilation is a concept that stems from Einstein's theory of relativity, where due to differences in the gravitational field in different regions of the universe time tends to flow differently. It flows slower for regions of space having a strong gravitational field and faster in other places. To understand this better, let's turn to an ancient story from the Purans. King Kakudmi ruled a vast kingdom and had a beloved daughter named Revti. As she reached a marriageable age, the king grew anxious about finding a suitable husband for her. To seek help, he took Revati to Brahma, the god of creation. Upon arriving in Brahmalok, they waited patiently as Brahma enjoyed a musical performance. When King Kakudmi finally approached Brahma and made his request, Brahma laughed and explained that a vast amount of time had passed on earth during their wait. 27 Chaturyugas, roughly 113 million years, had elapsed. Everything Kakudmi knew, including his family, treasures, and potential suitors for his daughter, had disappeared with time. Nonetheless, Brahma reassured the king and his daughter that they could find Balram, Bhagwan Shri Krishna's brother, as a suitable suitor for Revti. The Cyclic Universe In the 1920s, theoretical physicists, most notably Albert Einstein and many years later Sir Roger Penrose proposed the cyclic universe theory, a model of cosmic evolution according to which the universe undergoes endless cycles of expansion and cooling, each beginning with a big bang and ending in a big crunch. Hinduism is the only religion that has a concept of the life cycles of the universe. It suggests that the universe undergoes an infinite number of deaths and rebirths. Furthermore, Hindus believe the universe is projected in cycles spanning billions of years, where Lord Brahma creates the universe, Lord Vishnu nurtures and preserves it, and at the end of its lifetime, Lord Shiva destroys it, annihilating it into nothingness, and the cycle starts anew. The Big Bang Theory that originated in 1927 is a scientific effort to explain how our universe came into existence. It believes that the universe started as an infinitely small, hot, 
and then something which expanded rapidly from the singularity with a big explosion or big bang from which formed the galaxies, stars, and the rest of the universe. However, the science in the Vedas explained these concepts since millennia. The Rig Veda mentions Hiranyagarbha and the Nastya Sukta which talks about a similar theory which mentions the universe beginning from nothing through the power of heat. Thank you for joining us on this fascinating journey through the cosmos. If you found this video enlightening, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more thought-provoking content. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the wonders of our Sanatan Dharma.